everybody. Okay, so I did a long time ago, before I even had my YouTube channel, a video on how to make homemade washi tape. And I've gotten a lot of questions about it here lately, and it's not on my YouTube channel, so I can't easily share it anymore. Uh, also, I needed to make some more because I'm almost out. I think these three rolls are the last of the homemade that I have. And they were my least, well, these two were my least favorite. I really like this one, so I've kind of hoarded it. Uh, but anyway, I thought I would show you how to do it and talk about tape. When I made these, the I was using masking tape. And if you have ever opened an old box that has been taped together for a while, um, you know masking tape kind of gets brown and crunchy and it's it's not it doesn't hold up well over time right I can't even find the end of this one I think it's right there okay here we go it gets it loses its sticky which this is totally completely not sticky anymore and it um, it kind of gets crunchy and discolored and this is not really tape anymore see I mean there's there's very little stick to it in fact most places there's no stick left there's one little spot right there that's got some sticky still uh, so masking tape if it's all you have and you're going to immediately use it um, you can use masking tape uh, if you use masking tape though, when you use it in your art journal, seal it down with matte medium, gesso, uh, decoupage glue, something, but completely seal it so that it doesn't, um, you know, continue to age, right? But because of all these changes, I do make it differently. And that I use first aid tape. Now, if you're a first responder, please don't raise your first aid kit. <laughs> Um, but if you know if you just have your first aid kit at home and you're not real clumsy feel free to rate it this is the cloth first aid tape and I do like it but I'll pull some for you to see I don't like the way it tears always now there are times that I like it like if I'm doing a vintage page and I want these strings these strings if I want that then I would totally want to use this. But the paper tape is actually my preference. And I had run out and I had just bought a brand new roll. And I bought a gigantic new roll. And I can't find it. It's somewhere in the mess that is my art studio. Uh, so I'm going to show you using the cloth tape. But I'm going to tell you my preference is actually the paper first aid tape. But you do it the exact same way whichever you use, all right? You're going to need, first tape, your non-stick craft mat. The reason you need this is you don't want to lose the sticky on the back, and your craft mat will not remove the sticky. Uh, if you stick it down to your desk, to, to wrap paper, to anything like that, the sticky is going to be used, but here it won't. You need some kind of paint, uh, stamps or stencils, inks, whatever you want to decorate them with. As with so many things in life, I'm going to use my Dilutions paint because I don't have to wait. I can just keep going. I can layer them. I can blend them. I can, you know, stamp over them. I can just keep going and I don't have to even pause. And that is one of the things I love best about my Dilutions and so I use them a lot. So I'm using cherry pie and squeeze, uh, no, tangerine green. I have to squeeze orange, but tangerine green will work. Just to uh, get some color down. And I have a, a video also on using these. So if you aren't familiar with dilutions, then A, you're new to my channel because I use them for everything. And um, B, you can watch the video. They're really fun, they're really easy. And they go a long way. All right, so I am just working this in, and then I'm just going to kind of splotchy color my tape. Okay. 
And then I'll do the same thing in this one. Just kind of splotchy color it. And hopefully the camera's not laying on it so that it's rocking, but if it is, sorry. All right, and then I'm gonna come back in with the same color and hit some of those spots again because one of the magics of dilutions is it gets more opaque when you layer it over itself. So some of that's a paler orange and more translucent, and then some of it is going to be more opaque and more vivid. All right, and then I'm gonna come back in with my cherry pie, and I'm gonna come in all the places that this isn't. And I may run, a, you know, cross them, blend them. I just wanna get some fun color on here. And if I have some white that still shows through, that's fine too. Uh, like I said, I just really want to get some fun color on here. And I'm liking how this is looking. Pick up some more. And as with everything else, I have no plan. So I'm just sitting here thinking, ooh, this is cute. I should, I should have thought of this. But I didn't really. All right, and again, just like with the other, I'm now going back over some of those places to make it a little more pink and a little more opaque. Now, if I wasn't doing this on camera, I really would actually let this dry for just a few minutes. Um, I don't like to use my heat gun on this because I don't want to damage the glue on the back of the tape. So. If you do let it sit to dry, just let it sit. You know, let it sit for an hour, two hours, overnight, but don't don't hit it with the heat gun. And I grabbed lots of colors, but I think because I'm really liking this, I think I'm gonna see what the London fog looks like on it because it'll be kind of muted. Uh, so let's see. Oh, I like the London fog. Okay. And then I just start like randomly stamping. And I don't even worry if it's a good stamp or not. I just start putting down some stamps. And I don't care where on the washi it hits. Um, heights, if it gets the whole stamp, if it doesn't get the whole stamp. I just want some image in there. And you can do this, you can do stencils instead. I could have just as easily grabbed um, a stencil and I didn't grab another paint color. But let's just use this one right here and go on right over this with another paint color instead and i don't know if that's going to show on the camera because i did the same color on the same color but you could totally do stencils instead you could do stencils and then stamps okay it's kind of like everything else whatever you want to do all right but i uh, i kind of like this just doing the stamps and it's quick and easy and i like quick and easy when i'm making all right, so just kind of putting some of these stamps here and there and yon. And you can see how fast you can do this. All right, next stamp. And you could change up your inks. You could totally put another ink color on there, whatever you want. Change up your directions. And last stamp. And this was a little stamp set I got for a dollar at Michael's. So it, not even the stamps were expensive. Uh, 
Alright, so it's all stamped up. And last but certainly not least is I do like to add paint splatters. Now, you want to move your stuff out of the way. <gasps> you want to move it out of the way before you do this. Um, I do use my Montana marker for this, just like with everything else. And just give me some paint splatters. You can do black and white, but because I did the same thing in that the darker color, I would just do the white. All right, so now I would let this dry overnight so that everything is good and dry. Ink delusions won't take long. The, the paint splatters will though. And then as far as storage, I took um, a paper towel holder and wrapped it and then cut them free to do these. But, and I've got uh, some plastic, where are those? Uh, let me see if I can lay my hands on this one when I'm quick. Here's one. Uh, the sewing die set from Tim Holtz has this little um, thimble, symbol, blah, blah, blah. I can't talk. I did it in plastic. Actually, a friend of mine in one of my art groups did these, but I've since gotten it so I can do them myself. But they're the perfect size to wrap them around there. If I'm doing happy mail and I'm just like sending odds and ends, I may do these. Uh, if I'm doing them for myself, I may do these. But the quickest, easiest, and cheapest way is a playing card. Just wrap it around a playing card. In fact, I've got, excuse my leaning in, um, I've got some ready to mail out to a friend here, and you can see I just wrap them around a playing card. They don't lose their sticky. They don't stick to the playing card. They come right off clean, and you can store them for a while. I've got some I've stored for a long time, like a year on a playing card. No problem. So when these are dry, wrap them around your playing card, and you've got your own homemade washi. Bye, y'all.